Hello everyone, Denise here. I am going to update you on a couple of projects that I've been working on. This is the work in progress Wednesday video. The last time I did a video, I was working on my granddaughter's blanket. She is not here yet and her blanket is not done yet. I added a couple of more um, rounds to the blanket. I found a little bit uh, more yarn, so I was winding that into a ball need to find more cream because I'm almost out and I don't know where the rest is. So I haven't gotten far on that one and this is one that I showed you in the previous video and it's the color pooling blanket and I did a few rows on it. Um, it's kind of boring. It's fun but it's boring too so I and I actually don't know what I'm going to do with it when I'm done so it's not very exciting to work on. Um, I also uh, volunteered to be a tester on a sweater for um, a lady that I'm part of her Facebook group and so I'm not showing you that because um, I firmly believe that you shouldn't show anyone other people's work unless you have permission to. <laughs> so uh, since I'm testing it for her I'm not going to show that but it is a very large sweater. She only had a couple of sizes left um, to test so I just offered her one of the sizes. It's much too large for anyone I know, but um, I'm testing it anyway, and I will show you a picture when that is finished, which should be soon, this week sometime. Um, in the meantime, I started, well, I did some dyeing projects with some chic sheep yarn. This is um, a red that I'm going to use in this project right behind it. This is the Chic Shawl by Marley Bird. Uh, the classes are on Annie's website, so if you go to uh, Annie's um, website, I, I'll put a link in the description, how about, and uh, you can get a 15-day trial for their um, classes that they have on there, and Marley Bird is doing a class on the shawl. It looks kind of weird. I'll insert a picture here so that you can see what it looks like. Um, far away. I can't really, I'd have to climb on the chair, possibly swing from this, the ceiling lamp, um, to show you all of it, but I'll insert a picture here. Okay, and then I'll put a link, um, I'll put a link for the Annie's classes, and also a link to my Revelry page, which has updates on each section. This is the first section, second section. This was chic sheep yarn that I dyed in um, like a tonal blue. And then this was the third section. This was the fourth section. And that is the fifth section. Um, I believe there's going to be 10 videos and I'm not sure uh, what is included in all of that. Obviously, I haven't watched them and they're not available yet. So I'm waiting for the sixth video to come out so I can continue on to the next section after the uh, stair step section there. It's very fun. It's different. It, um, I have never done this stitch before. Um, I have done corner to corner, but I haven't switched colors in corner to corner before. Um, pretty basic, not hard at all. Um, this is the lemon peel stitch, or uh, oh, it has a couple of different names, um, but I call it the lemon peel stitch. It's like a double crochet and a single crochet. And then um, this section, I've never done that before. And this section, I've never done this stitch before. So it's been fun. I really have enjoyed it so far. And of course, I love the yarn. It's my favorite, Chic Sheep. And so that brings me to this. This is going to go into the shawl as well further up on the shawl, I believe I'm going to put this towards the end uh, section. And this shawl looks kind of bizarre right now, but you add, you add sections to it to make it, it's asymmetrical. So, and this is the other one I dyed. This is uh, a speckle yarn that I did. Um, Chic Sheep, I dyed it. And then I decided that I wanted half of the skein to be solid. So I did that in the blue. So now when I knit or crochet it, if I just go along and don't uh, do anything different, it should be stripes of the blue and then the speckled. And I really like that. Um, and this 
this red is like a tonal red. It's kind of hard to see because reds photograph terribly, um, but that's kind of in comparison to, this is lipstick for Shake Shape. So this is like a more of a burgundy or a brick red, possibly. Um, let's see, what else do I have? I have a hat here that I designed. I have not done a video on it yet. Kind of hard to tell because it's all different colors too. It's a rainbow, rainbow speckle. Love the yarn. Don't know if it's still available. That's why I hesitated on making it. It's just really a basic beanie with a uh, front post, back post, double crochet uh, brim. But I just, I don't know. I felt like making a hat that day. So I made a hat and then I just released a tutorial on on this hat and you put a pom pom at the top. So this is cluster stitch. I really like that stitch. I think it's gorgeous. Probably we'll do a cowl to match it and uh, release a video for that because I just uh, I just love it. It's almost um, scale looking. I just think it looks so cool. Um, Anyway, so that is my update on my works in progress. Um, a lot of fiddling around. I've mostly been working on that sweater. I have to get that done. There was a three week deadline. So I'm coming up on that three week deadline and I have the sleeves and the bottom band to do on the sweater. It's going to be a bright blue. It's Red Heart Super Saver in the color blue. So it's very bright. But it's the only only color I had um, enough yarn uh, to do the sweater. So I'm possibly thinking of taking some Ritz synthetic dye and dyeing that and making a video out of that because that would be cool if it turned out. If it doesn't, I'm going to be really sad because the sweater was a lot of work. So hopefully I get this finished and or further along. This is something I have to wait to do because the videos are in sections and they're released at certain times. And so that's as far as I could go with that. The yarn I dye, and that's just something I do for fun because I love it. And the hats, there's a tutorial on this one and maybe on this one in the near future. And the color pulling blanket, I just need to finish. I need to get it out of my life. And then next time I post a video on the work in progress Wednesday, I am going to show you some more projects that I found in my craft room. Yes, there are more. So thank you guys for watching so much. And until next time, bye.